pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, and if you would, silence all your electronic devices. Today is July 6, 2010. The time is 7 p.m. And a regular meeting of Greenberg Common Council is called to order. We'll call vote, please, Jean. Her. Here. Pamela. Here. Bill. Here. Jamie. Here. Carol. Here. And I know you're here. I'm here. Uh, Rise, we have two sets of minutes in here to approve, but there was not a forum at the June 7th meeting on the 21st. So, do we still approve both of them together? Okay. This council read the minutes from June 7th and June 21st. Are there any additions or corrections? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we have three minutes of the room. Second. Jamie? Yes. Daryl? Yes. Bill? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Business from Randy Maxwell is having a little seat and will not be attending tonight. And for Michael 15, that's information that I passed out to the council. Vicki Kelvin is not able to attend tonight. She also passed along information from EDC. We have a transfer request for transfer funds on resolution 2010-7. Chief, okay, if you would. Agenda. Personnel policies for the 2010 6. These probably have to be done differently. Our personnel policy for the 2010 7. Uh, Devin. Devin, would you like to address the council? You each received a copy of. Both policies 
And there's also a um, sheet that I put together on the main changes that the staff had requested. A lot of the changes in the policy are just legal, legal requirements, whether it's FMLA or expanding um, the business travel section. So I guess I'll just ask if you guys have any questions or what you would like for me to go over. Has the council had the time since it delivered last week to read them in their entirety? I have not gone through the entire book, to be honest. And I understand a lot of it you have to uh, <coughs> trust the policy council committee, which is uh, Councilperson Gardner and Councilman Winnie. And we also had input from all the department heads in Devon and uh, Ken Irwin's office as to what we had to have and what we didn't. Right. So that's, that's a lot of the changes, I think. The draft that's in here is, is everything that has passed the personnel committee. But I know that on that sheet, I put there's a few topics that um, received some discussion that need to be decided, or things that were brought up afterwards, um, whether it was at various uh, staff meetings, that sort of thing, but they did make the latest draft. So, so if you want to take time and look it over and you know, questions, that sort of thing. Can you stop the questions, Devin? We got 2.13 probationary period. Yeah. And the second paragraph, <coughs> probationary period for police officers and firefighters may be up to one year. Yes. Where, where are you? Uh, it would be the 2.13 personal policy standard of graduation now. probationary period, they're either terminated or they become first class firefighters or patrolmen. But do you know, does the statute allow you to pull them in first class prior to that year? That might be something... The way, the way this reads, you can with majority vote of, of the council is, is how I understand it. As, as the mayor and I have spoke about, as, as, far, as long as I'm the fire chief, there'll never be anybody to go off probation prior to their one year. I mean, that's just, that, that gives you the opportunity to evaluate them and, Yeah, or know, if it's a matter of just salary, right. maybe we should look at <clears throat> the mid-range salary in between six months and a year. We've, we've never had an issue, we've never had an issue with, I mean, yeah, I think, what's the difference, $800, I think, $900, I think it bumps up. You guys just understand. I mean, Rick helped me out. Yeah. I mean, they just understand that's their probationary period. You know, we provide them with all their clothing. We provide them with with their all their equipment and stuff, and that's just part of it. And you, and that, as and long that, as you tell them that up front, and we tell them that up front that you're on probation for one year, and that's the way it is. Now, I know the police department does it different, um, but I'm, I'm not that versed on on how, why, or whatever that they do, but. From the fire department side of things, it can stay as is, or you can change it to where, you know, probationary period is one year because that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna leave it as. And how is it the other departments doing? Well, they're they're a little bit different. They have a ninety day probationary period, but police and fire are of course a different color when it comes to some of the employment records. We're mandated under Indiana code that we have a, you know that it spells out for one year unless. We move like this, and just not remove anyone from probation. I mean, ultimately, I think it's your your choice and/or the board of works <laughs> to make that decision on whether.